slowly now. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and... You must rescue me. And I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms. You there! We are escaping! Let me open your door. That's it! Quickly! You must escape before the guards return! Quickly! Follow Urgesim. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. decision becomes decision. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? The Prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is... I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Baal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. 
We need to make our way through the Ashen Mines to get to the enclosure where the Prophet's being held. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get... The Ashen Mines are dangerous, but they aren't as heavily patrolled as the other routes out of the prison. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find There is Titanborn as a mighty and noble warrior. Trust in her. Two heads by each that is cut off. We made it. Come. The Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any l I have no idea. Brute force?
Quickly! While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! Doors warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamri. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. Hello, what's this? Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And oh dear, oh dear, well that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder. Best of luck! Do check in now and again, won't you? Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer Gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old... Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny.
The Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Good news is, we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but... I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molagbal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet shows you there are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right. I probably should have mentioned that we can't possibly understand it right now, but the Prophet chose you for a reason. You're important. There are magical locking devices on our... the divines you are safe there is that at least there is sacrificed everything that we might go free has wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold that is the name i have given you you are but a trace of your former self a soulless one an empty vessel that longs to be filled that is what i've come to be called my true name is lost even to me Years of torment have taken their toll. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. Quickly now. We I shall answer what I can, but the twisted machines of Daedra are used to draw our land of Tamriel closer to Cold Harbor until the two realms merge. It is the evil dream of Molog Bar. Lyris and I walked together once. Long ago, we were captured and condemned to this place for becoming entangled in the schemes of Molog. Sex fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad.
The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern, a shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your... Shard of Ethereum. Meet us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. It is time, if we are to return to our... First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense the dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same... Souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! <laughs> <laughs> 